Hello and welcome to the Opta hashtag winning team for round 16 of the Aviva Premiership. This is a side based purely on stats, so it's always bound to be a bit controversial, but Opta's algorithm is so detailed, it's something that should be paid attention to. Now, Quinns and Leicester dominate the side this week, contributing four players each, and that's how we start with Tom Young sandwiched between Lambert and Sinclair. None of these guys missed a single tackle, and Tom found the target with 10 out of 11 lineouts. Good going, Tom, good stuff. So into the row, the second row, we have one man who continues to push for a place in, well, it's a very competitive position, isn't it? Second row for England, Ed Slater. He won five lineouts for the Tigers, as well as completing all six tackles and beating two defenders. Good going, Ed. Ed was joined by Dave Atwood, who also had a great game. Dave made 12 carries, won three lineouts, and completed nine out of ten tackles. The second rowers are very, very busy. Our flankers are Callum Clark of the Saints and David Seymour of Sale. Callum won the most lineouts over the weekend and also came up with a steal while David completed all 11 tackles. And don't forget, he beat two defenders. However, our highest scoring forward were Leicester's Jordan Crane. Jordan beat three defenders, made a break, completed eight out of eight tackles and gained 52 metres from 12 carries. OK, into the halfbacks and we have two massive performances. At nine, we have Carl Dixon, who was our highest scoring player in the Premiership. It's no surprise given Carl made two breaks, came up with a round high four offloads, plus he created three breaks and a try with his pass. So let's bang him right in there. And it's the same old story at 10. It's George Ford. George is consistently in the Opta team uh, of the round and by far the best 10 of the season. So far, according to the statistics this week, he made 10 carries, beat five defenders. George really is doing everything he can at the club uh, to get that England shirt. And remember, he was in a losing team at the weekend. So let's, uh, let's well done, George on the back foot, good stuff. At 11, we have Sunday's man of the match in Veronique Gonova. Nicky was massive for the Tigers, beating six defenders and scoring two outstanding tries against the Falcons. There we go. In the centres, a young Tom Stevenson continues to impress as the only player to keep his Opta hashtag winning team shirt from last week. Tom was joint top of the defenders beaten chart with seven this week. Back to back, fair play for the youngster, that. He's standing up straight there, nice one. Uh, Ian Whitten joins us for the first time. Welcome, Ian, onto the top metre maker of the week, covering 99 metres over the gain line. Good going, good going, Mr Whitten. On the other wing, a big performance from a player who Quinns are reportedly unable to hang on to. Sam Smith made more carries with 18 and beat more defenders along with our centre Tom than anybody else. Sam also made two breaks and let's not forget, he scored a very good try. And finally, no surprise here, it's, it's hard to feel a little bit for Chris Pennell. Chris made nine out of 10 tackles. Chris also beat five defenders. Chris made clean breaks and scored a try, but it still wasn't enough to get those points that the Warriors so desperately needed. So. Hard luck, Chris, but you did make the hashtag winning team wall. Congratulations to all in the side, and until next time, thank you for joining us for the hashtag winning team.